If I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Ooh, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. saved your life. The sinkhole, your foot. What? You'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound. Fine. Two times then. The sinkhole and just now. <sighs> hey, let me see that. Leave it. It's nothing. Hey, I'm fine. Come on, roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already. This is not an admission. Let me see. It's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. Let's go. The kid said the ward was this way. about the North Pole? That old fairy tale? <laughs> yeah, like this ward. Old white guy founds it, food and fresh water everyone gets along. <laughs> mm. That sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise we won't last much longer out here. You think people actually live like this? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Locked. Great. Ugh, we can't turn back now. We ain't got nowhere to go. There's got to be another way through. Hey, Eagle Eye. See if you can squeeze your ass through that hole up there. Hey, 
Hey, unlock the damn door! What are you waiting for? Let me in! What are you waiting for? <laughs> Let me in! It's about time. What took you? to these poor bastards. Can't let it go to waste. Use it on that bum ankle of yours. Won't help me none. Hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us and these guys. Bad with a side of broccoli. A side of what? Nothing. Something my ma used to say. Starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. <clears throat>
all gone after all. Nope. Ain't no way the war's real. How about a mess like this out here? <sighs> nope. Maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out. Whoa, whoa, hold up. We're friends. We're here to help. Can't hold this forever, Bo! Still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. It's not far from here, but the way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out.
would know they've lost. But they won't lay down without a fight. You okay? Not bad shooting, Traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. But don't worry. The ward's as safe a place as any. Safer. So... It's really real. Food, and water, and... Folks living with some old white guy? <sighs> More or less. Whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. I'm fine, I... Ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... We need to get her to the ward, and quick. The doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving, before we lose the light. Take good care of her. Welcome to War 13. Hey, don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. 
Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Oh. He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo, Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. You must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? For the ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. <laughs> we've just, uh... Well, we've been cut off from the world for so long that... Well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. Oh, Traveler. How's everything? <laughs> I guess... I, I used to guard the old ward some 20 years ago. I helped out here and there, you know, but... Before Commander Ford passed, she and the Founder, they kinda... put me in charge. Yeah, maybe no one else wanted the job, I don't know, but the ward's the only family I've ever known. Oh, incredible, isn't she? Yeah, no one really understands how she does it, not, not even her. But the feel in the air after she blasts him like that, it's... It's electric. Like, like the sun after a storm. She's something special, Traveler. <laughs> and no small part of how we're as safe as we are. Hey, I'm just glad we got to you, you know, when we did. You stirred up quite a deadwood nest. I haven't seen that many in one place for a long time. Between me and... oh, I, I, I don't... um... <laughs> uh... What? No, no, it's not... I don't. I mean, I... I do, but it's, it's not like that. I... <sighs> have, uh, have you ever met anyone like her, Traveler? Because I haven't. Like, I, I haven't always been the bravest guy around, you know? But the way she fights for folks, no matter what it takes out of her, it, it makes me want to do better. I, I kind of want to make her proud, you know? I, I guess you could say she's my, my inspiration, maybe? Oh, but don't, mm. Don't tell her I said that, though. Make yourself at home, Traveler. We're all family here. Good luck. You know... <laughs> if you're looking for Founder it, Ford, quiet I it is usually see him over at the like warehouse. Nothing's going on. Yeah. Kind of boring, if you ask me. I'd like a little more adventure in my life sometimes. Well, oh, yeah. maybe... the top of that tower in the city. This is not up for discussion, Clementine. You're staying, and that's final. 
I don't remember asking for... Uh. <clears throat> we'll talk about this later. Out of my way. Whoa, what have we here? Ah, the... Traveler, of course. Wallace said... Yes, uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know. Families fight. Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. In the flesh. Huh, how about that? I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Let's keep it to this. You know how some things you drink can make you drunk? And some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy? Well, other things do this. Huh. <laughs> Not my way. And you want to be careful what you wish for, traveler. Ah, not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. Our young Wallace told me. Wallace? He's a special kid. A lot like somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams, too. Dreams about things that hadn't yet come to pass. It's more like he can see really far into the present, sometimes. Oh, nothing too dangerous. I've got to marshal my resources, and then we'll get into it in earnest. Let me see if I can get you up to speed. Arguing's not the same as fighting. Clem and I have known each other longer than anyone else here. That's a lot of water to put under a narrow bridge. Looks can be deceiving. In fact, she's 132 years old. Not quite. Clementine spent a long time away, keeping strange company. Something like that will change you. Compared to who? <laughs> Bo might be young, but he knows the run of a ward. Learned from the best. He was orphaned, just a kid. Ward 13 sort of adopted him. Ran security when he got old enough. Did a damn good job of it. Only made sense to put him in charge once we started up here. Don't think there's a soul in town has lost as much as Riggs. Don't know how that man gets up out of bed every day. But he... <laughs> Want some intel, huh? All right, Traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then meet me at the ward gate. I'll tell you a story. talking about this right now. Hey, be careful out there with the Founder, huh? We'd hate to lose a legend. Oh, Traveler? Yeah, the Commander thought so. I mean, eventually. The Founder can be... Eccentric, but you can't argue with his results. 
Just gear up and be safe, okay? I'm, I'm saving you a spot on garden duty when you get back, huh? <laughs> Those carrots ain't gonna pull themselves. Good luck. you own the place. Ha, <laughs> I'm just pulling you. Name's Brabus, and I run security around here. Though well, seeing as you got the mayor's personal approval, I reckon you ain't problem now. I also make sure folks hereabouts can protect themselves. They ain't just the root kicking around. A lot of folks still ain't chummy with this whole rebuilding society business. <laughs> I should know. Damn straight. A lot of folks only ever learn how to look out for themselves. They don't know any different. I used to be one of them. Up until about 20 years ago, I ran a pack called the Mud Dogs. We took what we wanted and killed anyone who crossed us. It was a doggy dog world back then. We all did what we had to to survive. Uh, things might be different now. Don't do anything I would do. I'll have to come after you for it. Good with Paxel take faces. Oh, it is new. I thought I had seen it before. So difficult to tell Paxel take apart without hoof and horn. I am Sa Israk Thadwell. Uh, my Paxel take name is Dwell. I sell crystals from my world. They make Paxel take faster, stronger, more powerful. They help it defeat its enemies. And the prices are quite fair. The finest crystals anywhere. The wind hears it. See you, Traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you wanted to.
makes a lot of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. Till next time. Causing trouble, stranger. Won't work for me. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Psh, right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. And I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs, then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. Glad to see you're all right. What can I do for you? That's right, but everybody calls me Riggs. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back onto you. Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. Ha, yeah, that sounds like Bravis. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment.
notify me. <sighs> I swear to God and my mother. Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? I swear, if that boy weren't so goddamn right all the time, he and I'd be having words. Percussive ones. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what. I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. help with whatever journey he saw you on just tell wally to be more specific next time yeah so we're done here right or do i need the hammer again can't say this has been fun <sighs> look it's not personal i just don't like being distracted i get into a zone you know it pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time but i'll tell you what you're clearly not the average stray that shows up here, so I'll make you a deal. Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. Founder said he had a lot for you to do. You might have to pull garden duty alone. Ready to face anything. What do you say? Ready to see what's down there with me? Right. Let's see what dangers still lurk in the old ward. Take this. 
Just crank the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Even traffic through them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets had found their own? here somewhere. Come on, Ellie, where'd you hide it? That red thing. We call it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. Come on, let's go. There you are. Hurry up. Take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand around all day. Is that the... The World Stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Uh, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Work to do what, exactly? to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Uh, Ford? Ford? Ford! Oh, man. Oh, it's gonna be pissed. Did it? He actually woke it up. Clementine? Hey! Did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? System failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition. Ah! Help! Clementine! <laughs> Don't let go! Slipping! Don't let it take me! Let her go! 
Do it. Oh, this is so stupid. No! 